I listen all. to you. Let me just mm-hmm. finish. <laughs> yeah, part of your job is to listen to me. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for The View's most scandalous moments since its 1997 premiere. This shouldn't even be a problem to begin with. Number 20, Star Jones quits on air. Something's been on my heart for a little bit. In the show's ninth season, original panelist Star Jones shocked her co-stars by announcing her exit from the series. And I will not be returning as co-host next year. Behind the scenes, she had been told her contract would not be renewed for the next season. Rather than go along with the network's timeline, Jones broke the news during a live taping, two days before the official announcement was to be made. Her co-hosts, particularly Joy Behar, looked totally shocked and confused by the whole thing. Executive producer and co-host Barbara Walters was especially unhappy. Though Jones was supposed to stay with the show for another month, during the next episode, Walters told the audience she felt betrayed by the premature announcement, and the controversial episode would be Jones' last. And therefore, regrettably, Star will no longer be on this program. Number 19, Megan's Choice Word. Tired of being what she called the sacrificial Republican on the panel, Meghan McCain lost her cool with co-host Joy Behar on this 2019 episode. You know what, you know what, Joy, I really come here hate? every day open-minded right. just trying to explain it. In an argument over former President Donald Trump, unsurprisingly, the two got into one of their characteristic ideological duels. But when Behar got a little sarcastic with McCain, the conservative panelist shot back with the word in question. Oh, don't feel bad oh. for me. I'm to do this. Co-host Sonny Hostin was clearly ruffled by it. He let's, headed to Florida. Hold on. Other but McCain doubled down, saying that she and Behar trade that word back and forth all the time. It shocked a lot of viewers, but Behar seemed completely unbothered. Number 18, Ann Coulter says liberals don't care about black people. I need you to tell me what you're trying to say in this book. <laughs> no stranger to controversy herself, inflammatory conservative author and frequent Fox News guest Ann Coulter made waves with her September 2012 appearance on The View. Promoting her new book on what she calls racemongering among liberal politicians, she made a bold and provoking statement. I don't think liberals ever cared about black people. I mean, five minutes after the Civil Rights Act of 64, they start calling everything that has nothing to do with black people a civil rights Wait issue. A the two African-American panelists, Whoopi Goldberg and Sherry Shepard, took particular umbrage with her generalizations. After getting stuck in a mire of an argument about politicians who lived more than a century ago, co-host Whoopi Goldberg's response eventually had to be bleeped. Number 17, wedding cake discrimination. My religious belief. Think you are comparing apples to oranges here. While discussing the right of a business to refuse service based on religious affiliation, two former sitcom stars got into a heated argument about a wedding cake and all that it symbolizes. I refuse to to associate myself with you right now. Co-hosts Raven Simone and Candace Cameron Bure's discussion about a bakery that was fined for refusing to provide a cake for a same-sex wedding made headlines due to how polarizing it was. Even once co-host Nicole Wallace stepped in to reframe the argument. This is a very emotional, I saw what just erupted between the two of you. People that, I don't want to impose anything on you, but... Without speaking, they still managed to steal the show in a hilarious cutaway. Number 16, Kate Gosselin breaks her custody agreement. Kate, I know you wanted to address in the In Touch cover story that just hit newsstands. During Elizabeth Hasselbeck's 2009 maternity leave, reality star Kate Gosselin was one of several rotating guest hosts. But on this episode, she became a hot topic herself. In the aftermath of the divorce that rocked the reality program John and Kate Plus 8, Gosselin came under fire from co-star Whoopi Goldberg for breaching her custody agreement. I understand that, but when you help go into a custody thing right. with someone, and you have your specific time and their specific time. Gosselin gave a contradictory and naive story about the night she interrupted her ex-husband's court allotted night with their children. But Whoopi wasn't having it. She brought the hammer down on Gosselin, sounding more like Judge Judy than a co-host of The View. You could have gone to jail. Says something. Number 15. Elizabeth Hasselbeck makes light of stalking. Really upset. There's one one aspect that I was focused on last night for some reason. Erin Andrews, who was the ESPN reporter. Elizabeth Hasselbeck landed herself in hot water during a 2010 taping of The View. Sportscaster Erin Andrews had been stalked and filmed without her permission months prior. In response, Hasselbeck joked that the stalker could have waited a few months to watch her on Dancing with the Stars if he wanted to see more of her body. I mean, in some way, 
say if I'm him, I'm like, man, I just could have waited 12 weeks. <laughs> the insinuation that Andrew's choice to wear revealing costumes on TV was equivalent to being spied on by a stalker did not go down well with the co-hosts, the audience, or Andrew's herself. After invoking a firestorm of controversy, Hasselbeck offered a weepy on-air apology the next day. I'm really sorry and I wanted to offer that publicly too. Number 14. Debating the N-word a report that Jesse Jackson had used the N-word in a hot mic moment touched off yet another intense debate among The View's co-hosts. Yeah, but he wasn't talking about using the, the word privately, he was talking about using it publicly. Elizabeth Hasselbeck's contention that the word should never be used by members of any race did not sit well with Sherry Shepard and Whoopi Goldberg. It's not a word that should be used, I think it's... It, Don't it tell me I people. can't use that word. Whoopi's patience in the moment is kind of miraculous given how she's tried to be as respectful as she can in explaining herself. But Elizabeth, as I said at the beginning when we first talked about this word, this is a word that has meaning when you give it meaning. Despite her claim that she wanted to understand their point of view, Hasselbeck seemed determined not to listen, ending the conversation on the verge of tears once again. Number 13. Raven Simone's Hiring Practices <laughs> The Hot Topic segment on this October 2015 episode included a study on how people make racist assumptions based on people's names. Just to bring it back, can we take back racist and say discriminatory? Because I think that's a better word. <laughs> yes, it is a much better that's word. That's a better word. And I am very discriminatory against words like the ones that they were saying in those names. For the hosts, this study brought to mind a viral video. Raven Simone could barely keep it together. Through laughter, she announced to everyone watching that she would not hire someone with a name like, for instance, Watermelon Andrea. I'm not gonna hire you. The silence was deafening, but the controversy that ensued was not. On a later episode, frequent guest Ann Coulter even threw in her two cents. You know you messed up when Ann Coulter can roast you and the view audience stays quiet. Well, I'm at least talking about policy. You have a position on what people's names should be. Number 12. Raven Simone defends racist comments. In 2015, Venezuelan TV show host Rodner Figueroa was fired from his network after joking that Michelle Obama looked like a character from Planet of the Apes. You know, Michelle Obama looks like she's part of the cast of Planet of the Apes, the film. It was an incredibly racist comment that generated a ton of ire from the public. But the controversy didn't stop there. The View's Rosie Perez declared on the show that the Latin community is racist. There is a secret in the Latin community, specifically the Caribbean, mm. South American, thank you, mm. Central American, <laughs> Latin community, that they are very racist. They never want to be in the same group as black people. Black. Guest star Raven Simone pounced on this discussion by then saying, some people naturally look like animals. This whole debacle was deeply steeped in racism that made no one look good. Some people look like animals. Is that rude? Girl, half my family does. I Am I like right, America? I look like a half bird. my family. So can I be mad if somebody calls me Toucan Sam? Like, don't be mad. Yeah, I'd be mad if somebody <laughs> called you Toucan Sam. Number 11. Hashtag Nurses Unite. We apologize for our remarks and we know how vitally important nurses are. If you don't want to cause a stir, maybe don't insult an entire occupation. The story begins at a Miss America competition. Miss Colorado, Kelly Johnson, a nurse specializing in Alzheimer's disease, appeared on stage in her uniform and performed a heartbreaking monologue about one of her patients and the meaning of her job. I am a lifesaver. I'm never going to be just a nurse. While discussing the monologue on The View, Michelle Collins said that Kelly had basically just read her emails on stage, while Joy Behar asked why Kelly had a doctor's stethoscope around her neck. Why did she have a doctor's stethoscope around her neck? Was it about? The outrage was immediate with nurses creating hashtag Nurses Unite on social media and speaking about the importance of their jobs. Sometimes we don't feel like we're the most respected. You know, one thing, I have to say, one thing that became abundantly clear to me this week was that nurses wear stethoscopes. <laughs> Number 10, Elizabeth Hasselbeck's backstage tirade. I'm saying this, I wish that it were available. I'm not saying They're I awesome. don't believe it's the right thing, but this is a slippery slope to just eliminating life. Preceding the release of Ladies Who Punch, Ramin Statuta's nonfiction book about The View, audio leaked of an expletive-laden tirade from former co-host Elizabeth Hasselbeck. After a heated debate about the morning after pill in 2006, Hasselbeck was so outraged by Barbara Walters comments that she stormed off set. I mean, I heard okay. everything you said. I just am emphatic I, I with... I barely started. Well, and it's not just my opinion. The audio of the backstage meltdown surfaced over a decade later, 
She loses her cool after being reprimanded by Walters and insists she's not returning to the show before ultimately returning to the show. You know what? I can take it in the meeting room. I'm just, not okay. taking it out there on air. Okay, honey. I'm not taking it. I, I, I hear what you're saying because I, I have to. Hasselbeck's assertion that she doesn't swear is made ironically funny given how many times she dropped the F bomb in a two minute period. When the audio leaked, Hasselbeck released an apology explaining that she was pregnant at the time. Number 9. Whoopi Goldberg's Holocaust Comments In a 2022 episode, the panelists were talking about the banning of books in schools, particularly books that deal with racism, the Holocaust, and supposed adult themes. Kids are exposed to this stuff yeah. really early in inappropriate situations, not ones where you're learning or teaching. Mid-discussion, Whoopi Goldberg stated that the Holocaust was not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. Aside from the inaccuracy of the comment, it seemed to have come out of nowhere. Though Goldberg tried to clarify her statements, she issued a live apology the next day. I regret my comments as I said and I stand corrected. The moment made national headlines and Goldberg received a tide of criticism from all corners. She was personally suspended by ABC News president Kim Godwin and was relieved of her hosting duties for two weeks. Number 8. Whoopi Goldberg Defends Mel Gibson in 2010, Gibson was caught in a vicious feud with his partner, Oksana Grigorieva. In one particularly hateful voicemail, Gibson spouted something so horrific, we can't repeat it here. He also allegedly referred to one of his employees as a slur against Mexican people. While the outrage was immediate, Whoopi Goldberg defended Gibson on The View, saying that she personally knows him and that he is not a racist. You can say he's being a bone head. head. But I can't sit and say that he's a racist, having spent time with him in my house with my kids." This in turn led to more outrage as people decried Whoopi for defending Gibson after he said such awful and clearly racist things. Joy Behar put it best when she said, "...that language certainly sounds racist to me." But I know Mel and I know he's not a racist. Oh, really? Yeah, I do. Can he I, may be I, a bonehead. Well, that you know, language certainly well, sounds well, racist to me. Number 7. Raven Simone defends an abusive cop's actions. Raven Simone is at it again, this time defending an abusive cop. In 2015, a video surfaced of a police officer violently taking down a student after she refused to get off her phone in class. Many people called the reaction unnecessary and excessive, and the officer was promptly fired. 20 minutes ago, uh, school resource officer Ben Fields was terminated from the Richland County Sheriff's Department. Raven Simone chimed in during the after show, titled After the View, and said that the student should have just followed the rules and put her phone away. And while she did condemn the officer's actions, many saw it as an example of victim blaming. The girl was told multiple times to get off of her to phone. get off the phone. People were outraged, and a change.org petition was created calling for Raven Simone to be fired. It received 130,000 signatures in five days. Number 6. Whoopi Goldberg spat with Janine Pirro. Republican TV personality Janine Pirro, host of Fox News Justice with Janine, appeared on The View for just a few minutes before her segment was cut when she upset Whoopi Goldberg. During her appearance, Pirro covered a host of topics, defending the Russia-United States Helsinki summit, blaming Obama for everything, and telling Whoopi that she had a nonsense illness called Trump derangement syndrome. Did you just point at me? Yes! Listen, I don't have Trump derangement. Let me tell you what I have. Okay. I have a lot of… After Pirro began saying horrible things about immigration, Whoopi swiftly said goodbye, literally, and the other hosts brought the interview to a close. You don't always have to respect everyone's opinions. Whips up city. people to beat no. the hell out of people. No. Say goodbye. Let me go. Number 5. Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar Walk Out on Bill O'Reilly The mosque down here on 9-11. Mm -hmm. That's inappropriate. This was another instance where Whoopi Goldberg's difference of opinion with a Fox News star caused a stir. While visiting The View in October 2010, Bill O'Reilly made a few enemies with his controversial political comments. There's the president going, well, they were right to do it. Yes. And then the guy this says, is America. and then the guy, this oh, is hold America. it, hold it. Listen to me because you'll learn. Oh. All right? The topic was Park 51, a proposed Islamic community center that was to be built just down the street from Ground Zero. Bill told the cast that 70% of Americans don't want the mosque without citing a source. However, it's actually from a CNN Opinion Research Corporation poll. 70% of Americans don't want that mosque down there, Where's so don't give me the wee bit. You want to bet on that? 
Bill went on with derogatory comments, prompting Whoopi to curse at Bill before walking off stage with Joy in disgust. They eventually returned, and Bill clarified his comment, but the damage had already been done. Number 4. Rosie versus Elizabeth. Did Iraq attack us, Elizabeth? Iraq did not attack us, Correct. Rosie. We've been there before. Well, I'm you? saying our enemies, Al Qaeda. Are you hearing that? This one is a nice mix of controversy and painful awkwardness. The episode that aired on May 23, 2007, is probably one of the most famous episodes in The View's history, prompted by the long standing rivalry between Rosie O'Donnell and Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Do you believe I think our troops are terrorists, Elizabeth? I yes don't think that no? you. I don't do think you they, believe that? Yes or no? Excuse me. Let me speak. The topic was the Iraq War, and liberal Rosie and conservative Elizabeth were quickly at each other's throats. It swiftly erupted into a massive fight that resulted in Joy and Sherry pretending to walk off stage and asking for a commercial break to defuse the tension. Executive producer Bill Getty later admitted it was a horrible day to be in the View studio. We can only imagine. I'll tell you what's cowardly. You never answer yourself. Who that is cowardly. Who is directing the show? Let's go to commercial. Let's go to commercial. I need a drink of water. Let's man, go to commercial. Oh Number three, Barbara Walters defends Woody Allen. While Woody Allen's art has been acclaimed, his personal life has long been the subject of scrutiny. Director Woody Allen caught in a relationship with the 21-year-old adopted daughter of his longtime partner, Mia Farrow. His relationship with Soon Yi Previn is well documented, and in 2014, his adopted daughter, Dylan Farrow, wrote an open letter accusing her father of sexually assaulting her when she was seven years old. He's lying, and he's been lying for so long. And it is difficult for me to see him and to hear his voice. I'm sorry. Barbara Walters came to Alan's defense on The View, calling him a loving and caring parent. Despite the sexual assault allegations, Walters and co-host Sherry Shepard proceed to argue about Alan and his past, and the media quickly made scathing headlines of Barbara's defense. I have really seen your father as sensitive and as loving and as caring as, as Woody is and Sunyi to these two girls. I don't know about Dylan. I can only tell you what I have seen now, that it's a but good you know, marriage and that he is a loving, the thing caring that makes me question father. Number two, Kelly Osborne's cleaning toilets comment. In August 2015, cast members on The View were discussing Donald Trump's racism and his controversial views on immigration. There are a lot of Latinos here in this country that do agree that the immigration problem is a problem and it does need to be addressed and it does need to be fixed. Interesting. But making uh, those comments, those racist comments, do not help. Trying to attack Trump and his political beliefs, Kelly Osborne said, If you kick every Latino out of this country, then who is going to be cleaning your toilet, Donald Trump? It was a ridiculously offensive thing to say and was quickly met with shocked gasps and rebuttals by her co-hosts. There's more jobs to be In LA, they always, but, but, but they Latinos don't, are not only the no, only people I didn't mean it like that. that, come on. No, I would never no, mean it like that. that. While Kelly said that she didn't mean it like that, people were deeply offended and Kelly was forced to issue an apology, singling out her poor choice of words. Yeah, you can say that again. I'm okay with people calling me whatever they want to call me. However, I'm not okay that I hurt people's feelings. And it was my poor choice of words and it doesn't reflect my opinion at all and I do not want to be brought into this political nightmare. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Whoopi Goldberg Defends Bill Cosby Here we have another instance of a host defending a controversial celebrity. He has not been arrested, and the bottom line is, that's the law. Innocent until proven guilty. In the mid-2010s, Cosby's reputation was permanently tarnished after he became the subject of numerous sexual assault allegations. Whoopi Goldberg was quick to defend Cosby on numerous occasions, vehemently declaring that he was innocent until proven guilty. And the American courts agree with me because still, 
He has not been taken to jail or tried or on anything. So back off me. She then became the subject of numerous personal threats and late night TV ridicule. To her credit, she later switched her stance and said that the evidence pointed towards his guilt. And it did indeed, as Cosby was found guilty on three counts of aggravated indecent assault in April 2018. If this is to be tried in the court of public opinion, I gotta say, all of the information that's out there kind of points to guilt. Which of these moments made you want to dramatically walk off stage? Let us know in the comments.